ladies and gentlemen, friends, on the occasion of the 94th anniversary of the founding of the People's Liberation Army, I would like to extend sincere appreciation for friends from all communities for your long-term care and support for the PRA's development. The PRA is an army of the people built and led by the Communist Party of China. Over the past 94 years, the PRA has built on past achievement and grown stronger through better with good development results. The PRA has won timeless honors for the CPC and the Chinese people. They are the backbone for China and preserve the nature of our governance as well as national dignity. They are also a strong force for regional and global peace. China and South Africa are good brothers, partners, and friends that share where and who with each other. We build a deep friendship from as early as the struggles against imperialism, colonialism, and racism. Since the new South Africa started, and especially after our two countries built diplomatic ties, we have all along been supporting and learning from each other in our respective pursuit for development paths suited to our national conditions. We have achieved a major leap forward from partnership, strategic partnership, to a comprehensive strategic partnership. Under the joint guidance of President Xi Jinping and President Ramaphosa, the China-South Africa Comprehensive Strategic Partnership has grown into a fine example for China-Africa and South-South relations. In recent years, there have been frequent military exchanges at various levels between China and South Africa. Progress was made in pragmatic cooperation between institutional building, mutual visits of delegations, exchanges among academies, joint drills and training, as well as military, industry and trade. Our exchanges on this front is now at its best in history. It has not only become an important pillar for China-South Africa comprehensive strategic partnership, to further growth, but also made important contributions to peace and security in Africa and beyond. In particular, faced with the COVID-19 pandemic, our two militaries have fought hard together, which demonstrate our comrades plus brothers' special bond. At such a time of severe impact from COVID-19, I take it as one of my major responsibilities and missions to actively move forward the relations between the militaries of China and South Africa. I maintain frequent communication and exchanges with leaders of the South African military and I look forward to more of such exchanges in the future. I am convinced that with the strategic guidance of top leaders of our two countries, we will surely elevate China-South Africa military relations towards a higher level and make greater contributions to preserving regional and world peace. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, today we guide online to celebrate the 94th anniversary of the founding of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. First of all, on behalf of the PLA, I would like to pay my highest respect and heartfelt gratitude for your long care and support to the development of the PLA. This year is a very special year for China, marking the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China. The 100 year long history provides ample evidence that without the CPC, there will be no new China and no national rejuvenation.
The PLA is People's Army created and led by the CPC. Over the past 94 years, the PLA has made indelible contributions to national independence and people's liberation, and defending national sovereignty, security, and development interests. In the new era guided by Xi Jinping's shot on strengthening the military, the PLA will follow a Chinese path to military development and elevate our people's army forces to world-class standards. China unswervingly pursues a national defense policy that is defensive in nature to build stronger national defense and powerful armed forces, commensurate with China's international standing and the needs of security and development interest. It not only meets the fundamental interests of Chinese people, but also benefit world peace and stability. In recent years, the PLA earnestly fulfilled our international responsibilities and obligations, actively participate in UN peacekeeping operations and international disaster relief, carried out regular escort missions in the Gulf of Aden and the water of Somalia, and played active role in international peace, stability, and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, even though China and South Africa are separated by mountains and oceans, we built a deep friendship from as early as the anti-apartheid period in South Africa. We are happy to see that under the personal guidance of two heads of state, China-South Africa comprehensive strategic partnership enjoyed profound development and become a model of China-Africa relations and South-South cooperation. China-South Africa military relations is an important part of our bilateral relations thanks for the joint effort the pragmatic cooperation between the two armies has been fruitful and maintained a good moment of growth, in particular in face of the COVID-19, we supported each other and fought side by side and wrote a new chapter of our friendly relations. Ladies and gentlemen, since I assumed the Chinese defense attaché in South Africa, I have witnessed the rapid development of relations between the two armies. I'm looking forward to joining hands with all of you to further deepen and expand military exchange and pragmatic cooperation, promoting China-South Africa military relations to a high level and making great contributions to safeguarding world peace and development. I thank you. Maybe this morning, sitting here in the city of Swane, may I say hurrah to the People's Liberation Army of the Chinese people. Your growth and greatness born of your resilient, steadfast and forecast nation who knew and know what they've always wanted. From a partisan army to not only progress from number of personnel, mainly ground-based, but a highly technological army, really highly mobile and advanced modern uh, armed forces, projecting far beyond own borders. And most, as per its origin, a people's army able to project as a force for good to others, through to the spirit of their own people, as it is the case in the relations we have with my own country, its armed forces. And I want to congratulate you today and say happy birthday to you, People's Liberation Army of the Chinese people. His Excellency Ambassador of the People's Republic of China, Major General Shen Hong,
Defense Attaché of the People's Republic of China, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure and honor that I represent the Egyptian Armed Forces on this special occasion, the 94th anniversary of the founding of the People's Liberation Army of China. On behalf of the Egyptian Armed Forces, I would like to convey to you and the peoples of China our sincerest congratulations on this occasion. Looking back at the history, we will find a deep and strong relationship between our two great nations. Egypt was the first African, Arabian, Middle Eastern country that recognized and established diplomatic relationships with China. That was 65 years ago. Since that time, our bilateral relations have evolved across stages, not just in terms of military relations, but it was extended to different aspects, such as economical, cultural, commercial, etc. And above all, in terms of healthcare. The cooperation that been, that been held between our two countries in terms of confronting COVID-19 in Egypt, it was one of a kind. Once more, I would like to congratulate you and the great people of China on this great occasion uh, of the 94th anniversary of the founding of the People's Liberation Army of China. I hope there will be many more years full of celebration for your beautiful country and its people. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Pakistan Defense Wing at Pretoria, I would like to congratulate our Chinese brothers on the 94th anniversary of the founding of the People's Liberation Army. May our cooperation flourish and long live Pakistan-China Brotherhood. Thank you. On behalf of the officers and entire staff of the Defense Advisors Office of the High Commission of Nigeria in Pretoria, I wish to congratulate the Ambassador, the Defense Attaché and the entire staff of the Defense Attaché's Office of the Embassy of China in Pretoria on the celebration of the People's Liberation Army Day. Since 1933, the People's Liberation Army has continued to develop and evolve the necessary technologies and capabilities to address its national, regional, as well as global security challenges. So, as you celebrate this historic day, I want to wish the PLA more successes in its pursuits for excellence. And also, I want to wish the entire people, or the good people of China, a very, very special and historic day. Have a lovely, lovely PLA Day celebration. Thank you and God bless. Bye. Today is an important day for China, which commemorates the anniversary of its armed force. It is very relevant to say that the China's armed force have an historical role of defending the country and protecting Chinese people. Nowadays, as one of the most powerful forces in the world, they still have in mind their aim to serve the people. My esteemed friends from China, please accept a warm regard from Brazil and be proud of your armed force. Strength and honor. Good morning, I'm Colonel Shakrit Prungsuwan, Thai Defense Attaché, Royal Thai Embassy. On behalf of the Royal Thai Armed Forces, it is my great honor to extend to you and the personnel of the People Liberation Army of China. My heartfelt congratulations on the occasion of 94th anniversary of founding of the People Liberation Army of China on the 1st August 2021. The relationship between the Royal Thai Armed Forces and the People Liberation Army of China has always been close and cordial at all levels. The strongest friendship we have shared reflects our sustainable partnership which will be further strengthened. Therefore, on this great occasion, I wish to reiterate my ongoing commitment to working closely with you in order to further enhance and cement our collaboration for the benefits of our two our forces. 
and the region as a whole. Once again, please accept my sincere congratulations on this auspicious and honorable day. And I also would like to send my best wishes to you and all men and women of the People Liberation Army of China for the progress and possibility in our future endeavors. Thank you. Yishu 颠扑不破的真理